it. I am Bex, uh, I am BB, this is AB, J, and J as well. clinical setting you can think of. I know somebody's put primary care on again, but no, it's for everything. Um, essentially, we can't really find a lot of AR triage tools out there which are taking in all the data about what somebody brings in in terms of their clinical presentation um, and thinking about who should see them and when they should see them. So this is what this has been developed for. Um, we've got an evolving NHS workforce. Every day there's a new ACP, EP, you know, AMP, MP, PA, you keep creating new roles and again, people are not really sure who should see which person in which setting. And what we want to do is try and use the patient's data to weight how important it is and then you can then decide who should see that person and how quickly they should see them. The dream is to have this easy to use triage tool for the clinical environment and it can be used in lots of different environments. So this is just the beginning of the settings such as making decisions as to who gets an operation first. We've got, we've got some great people on board, we've got you know clinicians, we've got people who are sort of, uh, urgent care uh, and a data scientist and in a short space of time we created something that was useful. We were able to then try and collect the data and what we'd like ideally is to be able to sort things out um, live. So It, I'm going to show you what this looks like and ultimately we've got a QR code which you can look at and you can have a play with it while we swap over the computers. So you've got about 10 seconds before this disappears. This is just a really quick mock-up of what the cutting dashboard would look like for the users. Uh, it's just been done in Excel because it turns out Microsoft Forms has a automatic connection to Excel updates. So if anyone very quick dummy get added to your list. Um, it gives you the kind of key details, name, date of birth, contact number, and then uh, the, the total score, which is based on the weight clinicians in the team came up with <laughs> and um, we've also got free time uh, on the prizing your groups of patients so you can kind of get an idea of what you're dealing with. Okay, thank you. Any questions? Hi, I've got this really interesting. How does that compare to, to the 111 triage? So we know there's lots of commercial solutions out there at the moment, but they're expensive. Um, so you've got Pathways, which one will one use, you've got NPDS, that the non-anine system uses, and there are others and bespoke software. It's made by clinicians, it's open source, it's accessible, um, and with a little bit more work, it could become clinically validated and essentially free. Any How would you decide um, what what type of clinician would see what conditions? So how would you decide which type of clinician would see which conditions? So part of this is looking at how we're trying to measure risk. So people with high want a more experienced person. You may be able to look at whether or not there are some key criteria. So your team may not all be able to see children, for example. So you can then stratify it so if they are a certain age um, uh, and they also have a school, then they'll only see a more senior clinician. They're able to categorize what the score of the person is and some key personal characteristics, then use those to decide whether or not they should be seen by a range of clinicians, and that then guides somebody who's booking the appointment as to who is the best person to book with. So, so the application, the idea is for the patients to fill out, right? 
And this is, uh, is it so that? Just to say the question again was, the idea is that the patients fill out the form, yes? Yeah. And then? And is there any supplementary physical examination on the clinician side? Because, you know, patients might upstage their symptoms. So for, for triage, normally you don't have a physical examination that is based on history, but I'll just let you answer. Uh, yeah, it could be used by the patients, and it's embeddable on the web page. So, um, test this service, fill out my trial. But finally, it's um, what was the sorry? What was the first bit of the question? My, my question is: the patients can upstage there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. At the end of the day, they... that's the nature of triage. Doesn't matter what tool you use, there is a risk there, and also downplay. That's another risk, which is why you have to be cautious about it. But that's always going to be a risk. We want to use actual numbers, so you'll find it quite hard to get, and we were going to use colours, so people would also not know what, what the outcome is, they just need to be honest. And ultimately, there's also going to be a sort of bot version of it, so some people would find that, you know, more engaging, but the, the older population may also find it a little, you know, off-putting. So there will be different ways of capturing the data, using the back end of it, so people can't cheat the system. Three minutes.